School's out and the sun has been shining. The grills are being fired up and now it's officially the first day of summer. But the labor market doesn't take the summer off. There's still plenty the data can tell us. And this year, we're seeing that the job market isn't quite as sizzling as it was last summer, but it's still pretty hot. How's it going? I'm Lillian Tate, an account manager at Like. Hi, I'm Lillian Tate, an account manager at Lightcast. Today, I'm drinking a bourbon barrel peach hard cider from Teton Cider Works, Washington State. Nice, crisp. So good, so good. There you go. <laughs> you might remember 2022 was one of the hottest job markets we have ever seen, setting new records for job openings. And that competitive job market had employers scrambling for talent. This was the era of the great resignation, or since so many of those workers found new jobs so soon, the great reshuffling. Now we're backing off those highs. We can even see this when looking at some classic summer jobs. I used to be a lifeguard. Walk. <laughs> wow, I should never become an actor. <laughs> Demand for lifeguards is down 6.4% compared to the same period last spring. Back in the day, I was also a summer camp counselor. Demand for those is down 10.7% now compared to last year. I'll take another drink. The fun thing about seasonal jobs like those is that our real-time job postings can track them over the course of the year. For example, our data shows that recruiting for camp counselors is pretty low in September, but peaks in February and March as camps line up workers for the coming summer. Of course, lower demands doesn't mean that those jobs are any less important, just that fewer openings have been posted. Overall, employment and labor force participation is up. Participation is up! Generally speaking, more people are working now than at any point since before the pandemic. Job openings are back up over 10 million, and the economy added an unexpectedly high 339,000 jobs in May, while unemployment has been near record lows and now stands at 3.7%. Boom. Wow, I feel like I really earned that one. There are still so many millions of openings that the people who want a job can often expect to get one, but getting further away from those extreme highs can give employers a little more room to breathe. This could even be a chance to be a little more deliberate in workforce planning. With more workers potentially available, leaders can refine those skills they're looking for to make sure they recruit the exact workers they need and set them up on the right track to grow and develop their career. And in the fields where workers are still hard to find, an intentional strategy is all the more important. This could be the time to find workers with some of those skills you need and train them in the rest. We're in a cooling job market, but not a recession. And that's great news, something to celebrate, just like the first day of summer is. And from all of us at Lightcast, we hope you have a fantastic one.